Time for our Healthy Matters segment. January is not only Cervical Cancer Awareness Month, but it's also Cervical Cancer Prevention Month. It's a condition that can be screened for, but not nearly enough people are getting checked. That's right. So if you don't know where to turn to, take a listen. We have Georgia Department of Health patient navigator Lisa Ann Wheeler back with us, as well as Katie Cunningham, who is in charge of vaccinations, and patient Tanya Gibbons. Morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Again. Thanks for joining us here. Um, before we get into all the vaccinations and talking about that, let's talk about the BCCP, the Breast and Cervical Cancer Program, Lisa Ann, yes. what it does. So this program is for women who are eligible, provides free screenings, free comprehensive exams, screenings for both cervical and breast cancer. And so Lisa Ann, let's talk about who should be getting these screenings. Yes, so for cervical cancer screenings, 21 to 29, mm -hmm. every three years, as long as it's a clear pap. And then from 30 to 64, it's called a co-test where we do a pap and HPV screening. And that should be done every five years, providing that it's clear. Okay, and we have all of that information mm -hmm. right there on your screen. Tanya, you've done your cancer screenings. Can you share your experience and just talk about the importance of doing this? Yeah, it's, it's really important. And because my mom passed of colon cancer, um, any screening that I can get, I try to get to make sure that I'm good and clean. Um, and a lot of times as entrepreneurs or people that may not have insurance, you're worried about, you know, going to get this done. And with Lisa Ann's program and being able to go and get a comfort in knowing that, oh, I'm good, and not have to worry about that. And it's so important, especially for women, women of color, women mm -hmm. over a certain age. I'm over 50, and so, you know, those things are something we need to take advantage of when we have an opportunity. Uh, now, she mentions her mother uh, passing away from colon cancer. Is this hereditary? Is this it possible? Mm -hmm. It can be. It can, it can be. be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And Katie, you're in charge of vaccinations. Let's talk about, because there may be some, there's some confusion, the HPV, uh, human papillomavirus, the mm -hmm. vaccination for that. Mm -hmm. What is it and who is eligible? So our HPV vaccine is Gardasil. Um, the first Gardasil vaccine was released in 2006. That was Gardasil 4. Um, Gardasil, the 10 years following Gardasil 4 release. So 20, or 2006 to 2016, there was an 88% drop in cervical cancer cases in girls. So 12 to 19. 88 percent. The numbers speak That's for ridiculous, mm -hmm. right? So young women ages 20 and older, there was an 81 percent reduction in cervical cancer cases wow. linked to HPV. So this vaccine is super safe and super effective. We now have Gardasil 9. So there are um, 150 different types of HPV, 30 that are responsible for causing cancer, 13 specifically responsible for causing cervical cancer, and we can cover nine right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing that there is a Gardasil 13 vaccine in the works. Um, I didn't have time to research that part last night. I'm so, so <laughs> sorry. No, you're fine. Um, we'll get but, back to you on that. Yeah, we'll get yeah. back to you on that one. Right. Um, but we can start giving Gardasil 9 as young, um, as in kids young, as young as nine years old, which is super awesome. Um, most kids receive it when they go to get their middle school shots. It's an um, optional vaccine for middle school shots. Um, we like to get it in before kids become sexually active because it's going to do its best work at protecting you before you become intimate with partners, right? right? Mm -hmm. So you get your first shot um, when you're in the middle school. We like to give the second shot when they're in high school. But anybody from age 9 up to 29 is eligible regardless of their history. People between the ages of 29 up to 45 are eligible dependent on you know, extenuating circumstances and doctor, you know, approval and that kind of thing. So the big takeaway is this is preventable. This is preventable. It, absolutely. absolutely. A woman should not die of cervical cancer. Absolutely. American Cancer Society, they um, are estimating 40,000 cases of cervical cancer and 4,300 women will die of cervical cancer mm -hmm. in 2024. Mm -hmm. That's not right. Mm -hmm. I mean, we it have doesn't the, have to happen. Yeah, no, it doesn't have to happen. I actually looked up the numbers last night. The newest number is 47,000 cases every single year, even split wow. between men and women wow. right For, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow those statistics uh, really do just speak volumes right there but again mm -hmm. there are resources the vaccine is available mm -hmm. yes okay. screenings screenings so screenings important. very important yep. you just mm -hmm. talked about screenings just yep. uh, getting that done and the great thing we always like to mention too of course with DPH yes the BCCP program is at free. no cost free. to the patient yes mm -hmm. free and Absolutely. vaccines are a reduced cost. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. We're running quickly out of time, though, but we do want to wrap up. You also have coming up at the end of the month, yes. Project Refresh Project Shower Refresh, Day. Project Refresh, near and dear to my heart, on the 31st, 9 to 12. It 9 is 12. an amazing 
amazing event, isn't it? It is. Katie's been it's there. It's so you know. fun. So, yep. yes, please come out. We offer all sorts of things. Showers are there, of course, too, mm -hmm. but we have food and clothing and resources, transportation with the Augusta mm -hmm. Transit, awesome. um, lots of yummy food. So, please come out. Clothing, haircuts, manicures. I could mm -hmm. keep going. And guess what? <laughs> Anything guess you what? need. Everything's free. 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 Anything you need. One stop shop. <laughs> free, free, free. Check so it all out. The information there for Lisa Ann on yep. the screen. Yes. Uh, Tanya, Katie, Lisa Ann, thanks so much for thank joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us.